everybody, it's Deb here with Creative Life. Thanks for joining me today. So today we're going to start a new project with my Crafting World Designs little Halloween haunted house. And this house is super cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, I can't wait to put this together. I'm super excited. So I um, went ahead and I showed the reveal uh, during uh, the first of the month. I will put this the link right here after the video down below for you so you can check out all of the nice dyes that Anna has in her store so um so you get uh some little house shingles you get a little fence you get two little plates or metal dies for your roof this right here is the door and this is the door so you have like um the door right here and then this is the door that goes in here like that. Then you get two sets of windows. Um, and then you get two pieces of the house. Now, if you saw Anna's um, video, you will know that this house, you can either open it, leave it um, opened from the bottom, or you can leave it like a little box and open it from the top of the roof and um so what i'm going to do today is i'm going to put together uh the little box and i think we're going to have it shut from the bottom okay um so what what it will do is it'll be a little box it will stuff stuff from the bottom part of the box and then shut it um, so it opens up from the bottom. So I hope that makes sense. Um, but you'll see what I'm talking about once we get there. Now I did go ahead and cut out most, all of my, um, items for this little house. I decided to use graphic 45 paper and, um, this paper is the Rare Oddities collection. Now, I didn't have uh, a lot of it left, so um, so I just grabbed what I had in my um, stack, and I do have some of the ephemera left over, so I thought I would definitely use some of that. So, we're going to go ahead and um, get started on this, so I'm pretty excited. All right, so to begin, once you cut out all of your pieces for your house, um, you're going to go ahead and fold where all of the score lines are. Um, now, some of them are a bit hard to see, uh, especially if you're using pattern paper, uh, but um, I kind of, you know, just felt around and <laughs> and then just kind of folded in where I knew uh by looking at the die where the score pieces were so i went ahead and did that and um, i also burnished down as i was folding down um, and that helps a lot so next you're going to go ahead and place glue on top of the tabs where the roofs are where the top of your roof is and then bring that large flap over that is the actual roof that's going to sit on top of the front and back piece of your house Okay, so once you get all of those, I went ahead and cut out uh, the roof pieces, which are these little lattice looking uh, notch pieces. And this one here that is long and it has like a score line in the middle, that is actually the top uh, shingle part of your roof. Um, so now I'm putting together my roof pieces, uh, the two back and you know, or side pieces together, okay? And this is what's gonna form your roof, all right? And then once you get this together, um, I went ahead and I started gluing the whole house uh, together. So all my little tabs that needed glue on them, I went ahead and just placed glue on the sides and burnished them in really good and you can definitely use your bone folder your bone folder will fit in there nicely next i grabbed the little um border pieces of my house and glued those on before i glued my shingles on um, and then this is the door frame so i went ahead and glued the door frame on and then the windows and the windows are so cute <laughs> Absolutely love these little windows 
so stinking cute and um yeah i really like how they came together so cute so i did my windows in black and then the door is going to be black so i cut that out and um yeah and i just ah uh, this little house is so cute or a little gift box it's actually a little gift box but i just keep calling it a house but it is so stinking cute so once you get this done, um, uh, you can go ahead and decorate this however you want. I chose purple, green, and black for my house because those are, you know, Halloween colors. <laughs> now, um, you saw me go ahead and glue my bottom shut. And I decided to go ahead and if I'm going to put stuffing in here, I decided to go ahead and put it through the door because I thought, you know, it, little candies will fit through the door so I thought why not just glue the bottom and the top and just put the candy through the doorway so like I said this is the roof shingle top okay this is the one that has it's a long piece and it has a score down the middle you're just gonna score you know fold that in half and place that on top of your roof seams okay just like I did here. Now, some of the roof shingles are a bit long, so I went ahead and just cut them off to fit as I needed them. Um, and then I just staggered them uh, as I laid them down one, or layered them, I should say, one uh, underneath the other. And as I layered, I just cut off what I didn't need. So, um, yeah, that's how I did my little shingles for my roof. And then to fold them, I just kind of curved them on top of the table. As you see, I'm just setting them down and I'm, you know, folding them kind of over um, on top of the table there to kind of give get, give them a curl like look. And, um, and then I place them right underneath the shingle um, that's, you know, on top. So, uh, yeah. So that's how I layered my shingles. Um, I don't know how everyone else did it but this is how I did it <laughs> so um and yeah and then you're just going to do the same thing that you did for one side you're just going to do the same for the other side oh my gosh so for this part right here I went ahead and used the Halloween border dies and this has your spiders and your spider webs inside of it I went ahead and placed this through my Xyron after I uh, used the spider web die cut to cut this out. And then I placed it in my little tray, grabbed my Nouveau green glitter, and uh, placed it on top of here. And um, now I'm just getting a wipey and I'm wiping it off because um, when you use the Xyron, it, it kind of the glue kind of fills the holes <laughs> where it doesn't need to be and so I'm just kind of wiping that part away from it and uh, now that I have it all done uh, I can go ahead and use my little green spider webs and decorate the house so I just love how these turned out they're so glittery and I just absolutely love it so this is something else you can do with your um, Zyron or you know your spider webs. Um, I wouldn't put um, double back tape on your paper and then cut it out with your die only because I tried that and it got stuck so it did not come out the way that I wanted. It may work for you but it did not work for me so it took me a while to kind of get the tape out of the die and <laughs> so I'm just warning you you can try it but it didn't work for me so that's why I used my Xyron instead so here is the spider border die and this is so cool I love it I love the fact that you can either use this spider die as a border on a card or on your scrapbook page or you can cut them off of the border and use them individually to decorate your card or this little house or whatever you're doing. I just thought, how nifty is that? So I really, really love this Halloween border die. Uh, I think it's worth having for sure. Uh, you get so much with it. You really do. Um, 
Next, I fussy cut out some bats and then stuck those around the house. And um, then I used my Nouveau Crystal Drops, uh, the black. So, uh, yeah, I just love this stuff. It's my favorite stuff to use. Next, I cut out the gates or the fences that you get in this house die set and I went ahead and rounded them around the house. So I was going to do the back, but then I just did the sides and I think that this looks really cool. Next, I grabbed some of my simple story chipboard pieces and I went ahead and placed the cats uh, on the back and then I decided to use that little skull on the front door. <laughs> I thought that was really cool. <laughs> it reminded me of those tall, uh, you know, the skulls that people put the the doorway. It covers the whole door and I just thought that that kind of reminded me of that. So I thought that those would p be pretty neat. Next, I cut out some little ghosties and I just drew, hand drew them and then cut them out. Added, you know, drew some black circles on them for their eyes. And I just thought that these would be so stinking cute peeking out of the windows on the side windows um, from the house. I just thought that this would be super cute. And uh, yeah, then I added some other little stickers like I added a hand and a coffin and just some things that I had in my stash. So here is our little haunted house. I think it is so stinking cute. And I absolutely love the little ghost in here. And y'all, you can definitely put a light inside of here. And um, I think that would be so stinking cute. Um, Anna actually did one with her little house that she created on her channel. And basically, you could just put the light right in the bottom where this opens up. Put it in there. Or you could stick it on the top uh inwards okay because this is also a flap here so um yeah and then, or you could stick the little star lights in here i thought that would be super cute as well and i just think that this turned out super cute i really like how i curved the fence on this one um i thought that was a really super cute idea and yeah so it's so cute and then the little spiders we use the little spiders from the little uh website here this is the halloween um border dies and you get the webs and you get the little spiders and so we used those as well as the haunted house i think this is so stinking cute i absolutely love it and so yeah so i can't wait to put some goodies inside for my granddaughters <laughs> I think this would be so cute too. Like if you did, you know how you have an advent calendar for um, Christmas. How cute would this be to have one the 31 days of Halloween, right? And then you, and I know it would be a lot of work, but still it would be super cute to have these little houses out uh, for 31 days and each day you open it up and there's like a little goodie inside. So I thought that would be super, super cute. So how cute is that? So I will leave the link down below for you. Uh, and um, yeah, so you can head over to uh, the store and check this out. And don't forget to use my code Debbie10. So thanks so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate you guys being here with me. And again, don't forget to use my code Debbie10 when you go to check out of the store. And uh, you guys take care and I will talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me, y'all. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And don't forget to go over to My Crafting World Designs to visit Anna's store. Thank you all so much for joining me. Take care and have a great day.